Hey friends, welcome to another quick sketch tutorial. We're gonna take 10 minutes and we are going to paint a monarch butterfly. So I have my image of my monarch. I've got my little piece of paper. I'm using heavyweight mixed media paper. I really enjoy it. It um, doesn't ripple as much as thinner papers do when I paint with acrylics. And um, then the colors we're going to be using today are titanium white, cadmium yellow medium, quinacridone red, magenta, phthalo green, and ultramarine blue. And then I also have my Neocolor wax pastels. I enjoy sketching with them. They just feel nice and they add a fun color to the sketch. And so um, I'm gonna be sketching out the shape of the butterfly first because it's a little bit more complex of a shape that I'm not as comfortable just freehanding um, because it is a um, symmetrical shape. So I'm gonna sketch first. So feel free to use a pencil or whatever you're comfortable with um, to do a sketch beforehand if you would like. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes and we will get started. So I've got my color picked out here. Okay, let's go. So I have my paper horizontal to fit the shape of the monarch a little bit better. I'm gonna just really roughly put in the body shape here. And then the wings go down a little bit lower than the body, so I'm just paying attention to leaving room for that. And then these wings arch. And I like to think about the level of the head versus the level of where the wing ends up. The wings go a little bit higher, and that helps guide me as I'm sketching that in. This time, I'm not worrying about making super smooth, smooth, beautiful strokes by any means or just gonna get something in there because that is the fun of a quick sketch is that you don't have time to be perfect. You just have to get something down. And I already can tell that, um, whoops, that my butterfly is off center on the paper, but that's okay. Okay, good enough. And I like to kind of sometimes sketch with like a little bit of an open line like that with a little like dashes because uh, that can help me kind of correct the direction I'm drawing without making a really definite line in the beginning. Okay, I think we're there. Good enough. Here we go. Okay, um, I think I'm going to just start by painting large areas of orange on the wings. So we're going to get yellow and our red. We're gonna to try to make, ooh, that red is really strong. Now there is a darker sort of orange near the top, so maybe I'll use this and I'll add a little bit of water to help it flow. So I'm gonna do the orange as sort of a um, shape underneath the black, and then we're going to put the black after that. Basically, the orange kind of roughly fills in about that much of the wing. There we go. And then I think I'll use some yellow and add that in, maybe a little bit of white, to just make a softer, lighter shade of orangey yellow for the bottom wings. Because in the image, they're, they're kind of a, a lighter shade there. There's a black border. Whoops, ooh, I got darker somehow there. Must have got my darker orange mixed in. There we go. There's a border around the wing, so we'll just leave that for the black. Okay, and it looks like the lower part of the body is a darker brown color. So I'm gonna just kind of tweak this color by adding a little bit of red, a little bit of green, which woo, mix together and make brown. That got really brown. 
The reason red and green make brown is because they are across from each other in the color wheel. They're what you call complementary colors. And so they, when you mix colors, sets of complementary colors, they neutralize each other and go towards gray or brown. So that's a really easy, easy way to create a neutral, a much more neutral color is by mixing in whatever color you're working with, complement. Okay. All right, we've got five minutes left, or more like six. So um, I don't generally use black in my paintings, black as in black paint. I kind of enjoy making black from magenta, green, and blue. It's just something I enjoy doing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with using black. It's just kind of fun to make your own and have it be a slightly different shade than just flat, flat back black. It kind of, I don't know, it just kind of brings a uniqueness to your painting. I think if it's, you know, what I made essentially is a really dark purple, it'll probably end up looking almost just like plain black. But I'm just gonna start using it to go around the edges of the wings first. Oh boy, I'm, I'm suddenly getting intimidated by how detailed these wings are, but don't, I won't give in. I won't give in to the intimidation. Ah. Okay, I'm going to just really roughly say, okay, there's a section there. There's a section going down and there is another one right there. And then I can kind of round the end edges of the sections if I want to, kind of like that, like clean them up a bit. But there we go, okay. Now, I guess I'll go ahead and do that on this wing. So we'll do the edge of the wing first. Ooh, I feel like I'm running out of my black already. Okay, I'll have to mix up some more in a minute. Okay, we're gonna go section there and I'm trying to kind of mirror what's going on on the other side. Section there, section there. Yeah, not bad. And then we can kind of round them. Okay, time to make some more black. So just add a little bit more of each of those colors. Hmm, good enough. It's kind of, yeah, it is kind of like a purpley color. I kind of like that. All right, just gonna go. It has a little bit of a scalloped edge around the bottom of the wing. A little scalloped edge. All right, and then I'm just gonna really roughly put in, there's a shape in the middle. And then there are little uh, I don't know, they look like little sections of stained glass just coming off of it, like radiating off of that center shape. I'm just really basically putting them in because I can't, I cannot be too fancy. Okay, now I'm going to put in the head and the upper body, abdomen, right? I'm like forgetting my science terms, the abdomen and the lower part is the thorax, right? I think. Okay, I'll put in some little lines there. Oh, while I have black on my brush, I'm gonna do the antenna. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to get a tip on my brush and go. That one I feel like could go a little longer. There we go. And they have a little bit of a on them. There, okay, we've got two minutes. So I'm gonna take the remaining two minutes to add some white details to the butterfly. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in <clears throat> and get blob, a little blob of white on my brush. And you know what, I'm not even gonna count <laughs> I'm not going to count and see if I got the right number of them. I'm just going to put some in because we're giving the, basically just the, I don't know, 
we're hinting at what is there. We're not putting every single one there, basically. There we go, and we'll just dash it along the edges. And then these have got a couple little dashes along the edges. And a couple extra ones there. <laughs> nice, okay, and then the body. Ooh, the body has some stripes. I don't know if I've really ever noticed that before. The monarchs kind of have some white stripes. Ooh, I might have overdone it. It's all right. Okay. My, in my remaining 44 seconds, I think I'd like to just add ooh, a teeny light yellowy orange just to give. Oh, that didn't work. I need a lighter. Give just a little bit more interest to these center sections. Almost like a little highlight or something. There, that kind of brightens it up, yeah? There, that gives it a bit more nuance than just being flat orange. Maybe a touch of white, just for fun. Okay, the timer is dinging as we speak. There, I'm pretty happy with what we got. I am pleasantly surprised at how far I was able to get. Um, if you need a little bit more time to finish your painting, don't worry about it. Um, the process of trying to push yourself to paint quickly will encourage your hands and your eyes to move better and better in sync with each other and you will get faster as time goes on. So if you um, enjoyed this quick sketch tutorial, feel free to check out my other tutorials on my YouTube channel. And also please check out my new online painting course. It's called Water Dance and it's an in-depth look into how I use acrylics in all of my um, studio paintings. We go through painting two um, real-time in-depth water lily paintings together with lots of fun layers and colorful techniques and I share all the things I love about acrylic painting in that course so feel free to check it out I have it linked in the description below. Thank you so much for painting with me and I will see you again next time. Bye for now!